September is Missouri wine month. Harvest season is in full swing, but is it true without Missouri, we could be living in a world without wine? And Allred verifies how Missouri scientists step up to save the wine industry. Missouri has a rich history of winemaking dating back to the 1830s. But is a story about Missouri saving the global wine industry a myth? Let's verify. Is it true Missouri scientists saved the world's wine from being destroyed? Our sources, Allison Miller, St. Louis University's Danforth Plant Science Center, Dean Volenberg, University of Missouri's Grape and Wine Institute, and the Missouri Botanical Garden. Trouble began in the 1860s when a tiny bug hitched a ride from the Midwest to Europe. This pale yellow aphid, known as phylloxera, is barely perceptible to the naked eye. Due to its underground habitat and its ability to reproduce asexually, the insect caused destruction completely unnoticed for 20 years. European vines that had never experienced this before was terrible. I mean, they estimate like 60% of European vines were killed as these little aphids started chomping on the roots and the roots just couldn't handle it. Phylloxera also started affecting grapevines in South Africa, New Zealand and Australia. It was estimated the wine industry would be destroyed in another 10 years. That's when Missouri comes into play. The Missouri Botanical Garden's first advisor, Dr. George Engelman, joined forces with Missouri's first state entomologist, Charles Valentine Riley. They discovered phylloxera was the culprit after noticing North American grapevines were not affected. The reason? Our vines had built up a resistance to the native insect. They figured out through grafting or the fusion of European grapevines to North American root systems, the new plant would be resistant to the pest. Grafting is it involves clonal propagation. So you're literally putting the same grapevine on a different root system. It was a success. Over time, the overseas wine industry slowly recovered. We can verify, yes, it's true. Missouri scientists saved the world's wine from being destroyed. I'm Ann Allred, five on your side. If there is something you would like for us to verify, send us an email, verify at ksdk.com.